The Kalamazoo Schwemmick has a responsibility and the obligation to identify the unmarked graves found within our jurisdiction. A critical first aspect to achieving those burdens is full and complete disclosure of the records held by the Canadian government and the Oblates of Mary Immaculate, specifically the student attendance records that were created by the institutions that were administered the Canlips Indian Residential School. Those primary documents currently within the custody of the Canadian government will be of critical importance to identify those lost children. We're calling upon both the federal and the provincial governments to provide immediate and ongoing funding and supports to the Columbus de Schwemmick as we develop and implement frameworks and processes to further identify, document, maintain, and protect the remains of the children found buried at the Kalos Indian Residential School. When I heard of the babies being found of this, during our residential school settlement, we had tried to mention over and over and over, there are many children missing, and the clients, the black robes, start lying about the children. Oh yeah, they're doing fine here. In the meantime, they were missing, and no one had searched for them. Many tried to run away from these, I don't want to call them schools, because I didn't learn anything there. I was there 10 years. When I took the college entrance uh, program, I had grade four level. All we did was cook and clean and, uh, you know, we starved and yet we used, the, we used to, couldn't, we had to steal lot, much of our food in order to survive. And that's only part of our survival in residential schools. <clears throat> the residential schools was built to beat our language, culture, and traditions out of us. It was meant to break up our families. We know our families were strong 